Mademoiselle, mettez-vous d'elle. Désolée, on est fermé. Pas de saucé, juste le bras. Oh, faites attention, c'est une robe en soie. Une goutte d'eau pourrait la tâcher. Parfait pour un pain, n'est-ce pas? Bon, mademoiselle, je ne peux pas vous laisser ici à jouer à vous déguiser. Vous pourriez aimer le réservoir. Américaine? Le French est ugly. Vous pouvez le prendre de moi, oui? Vous faites des alterations. Ma grande, s'il vous plaît, ne pretendez pas être quelque chose que vous ne pas. Believe me, la femme sera bien plus tard. Je n'ai jamais pensé à choisir de pretendre. La vie n'a pas été bonne pour me permettre ça. Peut-être que si ça avait été, je serais un dressmaker de l'homme de dans une chambre de l'empty, en dénonçant mon seul potentiel client. Respecte mon temps. Bon. The dress for my body. And I'll need some gloves. I'm thinking white. Real. You sold me a dress. Dantar boutique, comme soit la vente. Très chic. Ouais, tu m'avais trop payé. Avec des billets froissés, des boucles d'oreilles pleines de sang. Si vous avez déjà racheté des lobes. Pas le souvenir que ça te gênait. Ton corps était pas encore formé, mais ton esprit déjà sophistiqué. Puis tu souriais pas. Funny. You made no impression on me at all. I liked you. When you moved on from pickpocket, you're clowning now. I'm an actress now. Ah, okay. T'es à des vampires? I've seen this show. A divertissement. Still dressing your windows for your German tourists? Your French is still ugly. Like your Daoul outfit. I agree. I just wouldn't say it, because it's rude and obvious. Merci. Merci. I know, my French is terrible. Well, it's better than the plays. When you went out the window and you cracked your neck, yeah, that was good. And then the song came back again. Oh, he... I should kill whoever wrote it. Claudia, you're needed in the wet room. I'll be there in a minute. Eh merci, Lulu. For whatever that was. Hey. You want to ride home? So you spend the day and night in the dress? Is this some acting process? It's a punishment. Because <laughs> you don't like flapping your arms in their stupid play. Mm-hmm. Are you their hostage? Mm. More like they're my family. TB killed my family. All of them. Dead. Oh, my town was sad for me. Oh, poor orphan. But I mean, not too sad because we had money. And they didn't know my family. We're gonna talk about that. Um, a lieutenant from Dusseldorf. He was 19. He said, I want to know what love is before I die. Sounds like a lie. <laughs> I thought so too, but then he shook so much when I took my shirt off. He gave me food, the cigarette, but it was the comfort. He was alive. I know it sounds like a joke, but when there's death all around. I saw the war too. Mm. <laughs> and the lovemaking, you know, so boyish. Up and down and up and down. And he has his eyes closed. You know, I said to him, you're making love to me and you think it's wrong to look at me. I wasn't inviting Hitler to stay in France. I was inviting a frightened boy to cradle my tits. And now I'm a traitor. A slut. Alec. 
you could be in some trouble. That's good. Sit down. I'm gonna clean up. And then we can talk. Vampire. Where's the light switch? Um, yes, I'm the forbidden friend. Malin, this is Louie. Louie. She's Louis. reading one of your diaries. Louis. Well, you don't tear things down this is Malin. or fuck things she up. I had you I covered. She's the dress I wore a while back. She's, she's funny, she's blunt, and it's a long story, but I killed in front of her. And she sat in the corner and watched while I bundled up bodies. Didn't cry, didn't get flustered. And since then, we've been talking. Is it romantic? No. No, not yet. I've been a third all my life. Not saying that to fight, just saying that it's true. I feel like I get to pick one thing for myself, and it's her, a weird white lady I met by happenstance. You want a companion? Uh, she does. Yes? Not you. Not, not Lestat's blood. I wouldn't want that for anyone. Well, good enough for us. Not good enough for her. She swore an oath. And what will you do? In a few years, when she will kill me, because she will do it. Because she will do it. Maybe she will do it. T'en sais rien Peut-être que je suis ce dont elle a besoin pour survivre. guided her softly down the path, down the dark path. Just hold on to my voice. Amongst the pastiche of war and desire, beauty and damage, I saw Claudia. In an impossible afternoon light she could never survive in. Claudia, as Madeline perceived her, resplendent, rendered even more beautiful by her beholder. And I knew then with all certainty, she would be a better companion to Claudia than I ever had. Lavender, sweet iris, peony. Flowers growing from the dead, cold things becoming warm. I saw a dead girl in your mind. My sister. I saw the same thing that night. We already had it out. Aimé, we... And I didn't tell her about Aimé because I didn't want her thinking she was... What was your world? The replacement. What? Thinking of coming back to Paris? <laughs> Trash piles and men who smell like cheese and hot mess. No. We're going to wonder. Wonder? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wonder. This one? Mm-hmm. See the straight line to the next X on the map? This is 
the ex, Louis. All right. Okay, well. I told Claudia I can feel your love, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Taking a stretch. Claudia! <laughs> it is only fair that she be offered the same in the coven and become one with us. Hmm. She must join. I'm the vampire Madeleine Parvi. And my immortal companion is Claudia. My coven is Claudia. My vampire heart quivereth. For the heretical... <laughs> For your viewing pleasure. The lip of the stage. A spectacle and a Arms around each other, defiant, scared, never to be whispering last words to one another. Oh dear. But my mind was with Absolved. Louis. Follow the bouncing ball! <laughs> Claudia smiled and started singing to her executioners. Like windows when they're closed. I want to fly where the wild wind blows. Claudia gave the audience her back and Madeline succumbed first. 